It's that time of year again. At 2 a.m. Sunday, clocks spring forward one hour. I need a solid week off of everything to adjust. The twice a year time traveling tradition has plenty of people sounding off from the big screen. And I want to end daylight savings time. To perhaps more fittingly on TikTok. And don't get me wrong, I'm excited to have the sun setting later in the day again. But why can't it just be like that all year round? Every March, we spring forward to daylight saving time to allow for more light in the evenings. That's when we lose an hour of sleep. Eight months later, we fall back to standard time to provide more light when we wake up. But for many, shifting schedules can take a toll on their body clocks. Research shows a spike in car crashes, heart attacks, strokes, and workplace injuries in the days around the time shifts. We're talking about one hour of time, but you're saying it actually can have serious consequences? It really can. Yeah, we are creatures of habit and our bodies are meant to do certain things at certain times. Now everything just gets shifted by an hour and it takes longer for our bodies to adjust to it. The majority of Americans would do away with the time changes according to a new poll and more people would prefer locking the clock on daylight saving time. It's kind of like confusing having half the world doing it and half the world like not doing that. I'd be happy to see it go away. Just makes everything a little bit easier, I think, if it went away. Congress is considering making that happen, reintroducing the bipartisan Sunshine Protection Act. But some critics point out we've tried year-round daylight saving time before, which after a string of morning traffic accidents in the 1970s, lasted less than a year. Author of Seize the Daylight, David Perrault, believes we should embrace the current system. Even with the problems some people have with the time change, I still think that the current system is the best alternative. Now we'll just have to wait and see if the sun will set on the time-changing tradition. So when Senator Rubio first introduced the bill several years ago, there were no co-sponsors. This year, the latest version has 14. Still, the chances for a majority appear dim. So at this point, you'll have to move to Arizona or Hawaii if you're hoping to escape the time shifts. The only two states without them. Stay strong, Arizona. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Emily, thank you. We're going to bring in Dr. Carol Ash. She's a sleep sleep expert with the RWJ uh, Barnabas Health. Good morning. Good to see you, Dr. Ash. Hi. This debate, we do this every, every year. year. We're like, are we going to end daylight saving time? <laughs> and yet here we are year after year. Why? What's the what's the answer to why not change it? Well, there's no argument yeah. that we need to get rid of changing the clocks because every time we adjust the clocks, even that hour, that abrupt change, it's difficult for the internal clock in our brain to adjust that quickly. So and wait, are you saying that so we shouldn't be we should, making we the clocks clock. go back we should anymore? Leave it we alone. should leave it alone. But we should leave it alone and stay on standard time, not daylight saving so time. So why is that? Yeah, well, what's the I never can. Yeah, I'm from Arizona. Like, I, this blows my mind. The what, key, what's the, key, the difference? The key is understanding that standard time is designed to be aligned with your physiology. So there's a clock in your brain, right? Oh, yeah. And it's the clock in your brain. The strongest setter of that clock is the sun. And when the sun comes up in the morning, that's how that clock is set. And that clock maintains all the rhythms for wake and sleep and your hormones and even the expression of your genes. So maintaining daylight in the morning and dark at night is best for mm. our health and well-being. When we do change the clocks, a lot of people say, oh my gosh, my kids, it was so crazy, they got up at this hour. I feel like my kids, once a week or twice a week, lose an hour just because of life, because of a cold or because they went to bed late or whatever. Why does this have such a lasting impact? Well, as you're pointing out, we all have bad habits. Our sleep environment is not always conducive to yeah. sleep. That one hour change, what it does is it causes release of inflammatory substances. It's very stressful on the body. The heart rate goes up. The blood pressure goes up. And studies have actually shown that the two days after daylight savings time that change that there's an increase in heart attacks strokes what? yes Jeez. at car accidents just one hour just that one wow. hour incredibly stressful so that's that's why no more changing and we need to stick to standard time yeah. is there anything you'd suggest to kind of make since we're stuck with it for the moment yeah um yes. what you know just to manage it better well you can prepare i mean obviously um we're we're right on top of daylight savings time you really should start a week before but you still can change your your schedule 
15 minutes a night, you want to go to bed earlier so that you can acclimate to this abrupt change. Starting now? or so Even tonight, just oh. 50, go to bed 15, 20 minutes earlier tonight. But it's Friday night, Dr. Yeah. <laughs> we stay up till what, 8.30, 9 on Friday night? We're on nights? a bender on yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The doctor's no fun. But <laughs> you really want to stick to that. And in the morning, it's very critical to expose yourself to light, right? And you could try like a, a relaxing bedtime routine at night because it's hard to fall asleep and, you know, move your time earlier. But yeah. most of us are sleep deprived and we'll fall asleep readily. Can we ask just the age-old question? What's the right amount of sleep we're supposed to get a night? Just seven to eight hours. Seven to eight? Okay. Seven okay. to eight and a regular schedule. Key. Okay. Let's just say you wake up before the sun every day asking anyway. for a friend. <laughs> um, do, do those fake lights, you know, those little yeah. light oh, sources, yeah. Yeah. like, do those work? Is that a good thing to do? Natural light is always best. It's the it's the strongest setter of that cock in your brain. Yeah. But yes, those those lights, those commercial lights they are can helpful. Help? They can absolutely help. So you want to wake up in the morning, really expose yourself to light and set that cock. Do you think we'll ever see the day where Congress says, yeah, you know what, let's end daylight saving time? I know, it's an interesting debate. <laughs> I, yeah. Hope, yeah. I hope we do see the point in time where we do end it. Okay. But from, yeah, from a medical standpoint, <laughs> exactly. makes sense. Bye-bye. Right. Dr. Ash, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.